What's going on everybody? Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys five affordable items that can instantly up your style. I've also left some links in the description box below if you're interested in any of the items shown. Enough talking though, let's get right into it. All right, so the first item on the list and what I'm also wearing right now, we got the fisherman beanies. A lot of the times when you're thinking about wearing a fitted or maybe even a snapback, you might wanna consider wearing a fisherman beanie as an alternative. They're a little harder to pull off because they aren't as versatile as a snapback or a fitted, but when it is the right outfit, they do look a little bit more stylish. A lot of people have been asking about how Tan and I specifically cup ours. I'll go over it right now with this beanie fresh out the bag. All right, so here we have this beanie from ASOS.com. And usually a lot of people see beanies and they will come like this. They won't look all folded up like you see on our heads. Sometimes beanies require one cuff and sometimes they require two. This one right here only requires one cuff because it is pretty short. And then the one on my head requires two. This one is two cuffs as well. This one looks pretty long. So what I'm gonna do is kind of like align it with my head. And then you wanna do one cuff. I would say probably two inches is pretty safe for your first cuff. So you wanna do right there. And the second cuff is where you're gonna make the adjustment to fit it to your head. So now that I got my first cuff out the way, let me show you guys. You wanna put on the beanie and then you wanna fold it one more time. And this is where you're gonna look in the mirror, kinda make your adjustments. I would say when you're making adjustments at this point, it's kinda like adjusting the snaps on a snapback. You're just kinda going off a of preference of what you see in the mirror. So I have two cuffs. I'm gonna kinda play around with it, see how high I would like the beanie to fit. And a lot of people like their beanies really shallow. If you look at Cash and Belly, they like their beanies very shallow. Some people like them a little bit higher. It's all preference at the end of the day. For myself, I like it somewhat in between. I don't like it when it just looks like it's sitting on top of my head like a pancake. Overall, Fisherman beanies are also a great way to add a splash of color to your outfit. And when it comes to brands, I would stay away from any branding when it comes to Fisherman beanies. It almost looks like you're trying a little bit too hard if you have a logo slapped onto one of these things. For the most part, the cheap ones usually get the job done. I'm usually getting these at the local gas station or maybe ASOS.com, Forever 21. You do not need to spend a ton of money on these. And also when you look at Fisherman beanies, especially online, you're gonna see that some of them have like this weird cable knit design. Almost looks like a knitted sweater. I would stay away from those personally. They look a little bit like too formal. Those are like the type of beanies that you wanna wear with like scarves and everything. For myself, I just like the regular knit that you see on these ones. All right, so there we have it for the Fisherman beanies. Let's move on to the second item. All right, so next item up that get instantly up your style are knitted wool socks. So in 20 2019, I would say the mixing between athletic wear and casual wear is pretty in right now. And one accessory that can make an athletic outfit sway a little bit more in the casual lane are these wool socks right here. Right now you see a ton of brands like Fear of God, Kith, John Elliott, they're always stylizing their athletic sneakers with wool socks like these during their lookbooks. Wool socks are not as formal as a pair of dress socks, but they're also not as laid back and sporty as a pair of like Nike dry fit socks. They're a nice in-betweener for your outfits. And the two pairs that you see right here, this one is from Costco. They also make a gray one that is a little bit better than this blue color. And then this one is from Uniqlo. Pretty much anywhere, you should be able to find wool socks like these. And one thing to look out for when you're picking out a pair of wool socks, just try to find a pattern that has a little bit of graininess to the fabric. As you can see on these two pairs of socks, they're mixed in with a little bit of white throughout the fabric, and that ensures that they won't look like a pair of dress socks. Overall, a great way to style athletic sneakers and make sure they don't look too dressed down, we got the wool socks. All right, so next item up, we got the biker wallet chain. You know what that whole grunge vintage look really in right now? I've been seeing a lot more of these. They're a great affordable way to pretty much add a little bit of style and edge to your outfit, I would say. Say if you're rocking an outfit and it's looking a little bit too plain, maybe flying under the radar, not getting any compliments, the biker chain can give it that edge that it might need. Originally, they were utilized for bikers to hold onto the wallet while they're driving so it doesn't fall off, but nowadays you see a lot of people just wear them from belt loop to belt loop. A lot of celebrities like Vic Mensa, Travis Scott have been rocking these. Like I said, just a great way to add a little a bit of grunge to your outfit. There we have it, the biker wallet chains. Next item up, we got dress shirts, but with the mandarin collar. All right, so basically a mandarin collared shirt is a dress shirt, but without the traditional collar that you would see. It's not completely cut off though. It is still stylized. You still have a little bit of fabric right here, but as you guys can see, it doesn't have that fold down like you're used to. And after doing a little bit of research, these collars do have Chinese origins. They came from the Qing dynasty and were worn by the mandarin bureaucrats as part of the traditional uniform. I didn't make this up. You can look it up on Wikipedia. But back to to the shirt it's a great alternative to a traditional dress shirt and tie when you're not trying to rock one of 
parallels to our formal event. I would say these are a little bit more comfortable, they're not all tight in the neck area, and you're going to be able to stand out from the crowd. And just a heads up, they're not considered as formal as a dress shirt and tie, so just keep this in mind when you're selecting what occasion you're going to wear them to. Alright, so there we have it, a dress shirt with a mandarin collar, let's move on to the last item. Alright, so last but not least, we got pattern trousers. So typically in an outfit, you would see the flashiness and the patterns up top, but with these pants, it switches things up a little bit, and so you're definitely going to catch a lot of people's eyes with them. Sort of like the beanies, they're a little harder to stylize, but if you do take that risk and you style them the right way, they're definitely going to make your outfit stand out. And like I'm always saying, if you're going to rock something loud like this, you want to make sure the rest of your outfit is pretty subtle. That way you don't have a bunch of patterns and colors clashing with each other. You want to look like you know what you're doing. Nowadays, you've seen these worn in a ton of different ways. Some people rock them cropped, some people rock them baggy. I would say they're one of those items you want to try out for yourself, maybe style them in different ways. Basically experiment and just see what works for you. So like I said, I left some links in the description box below to some that I recommend. There we have it, the pattern trousers. All right, guys, thank you for checking out that five affordable items that instantly up your style. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys want any more videos like these. Let me know if you guys have any questions about the items that I showed. And that's pretty much it. Make sure you guys are subscribed. And until next time, I'm out. Peace. All right, guys, thank you for checking out that video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We got a lot of cool videos coming out. Make sure you guys check out this video. Also, check out this video. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.